What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at general technical questions on Analyst Builder. If you don't know what Analyst Builder is, I highly recommend checking it out because it is the best platform to become a data analyst in the entire world. And I'm a bit biased because that is my platform. You can code on it, you can take courses on it, and we have a new part of the platform that we are adding for general technical interview questions. If you have tried Analyst Builder before, you've most likely seen the coding questions where you can practice for technical interviews. But with this new part of the website, you now will be able to practice for general technical questions. And this includes a lot of different questions that you are going to be asked in interviews. These are almost for sure going to be asked, as well as some other ones or hypothetical situations or technical assessments that they might ask you as well. And so these are really important things to practice and know before you actually get into those interviews. So let's jump onto my computer and let's take a look. All right, so we're on the homepage of Analyst Builder. We're going to come over here to questions. Now under questions, this is our classic coding. So you can come down here, you can practice for your technical interviews. This is gonna be coding challenges. And you can come in here and you'll get uh, you know, our challenge and you can code in Python, MySQL, PostgreSQL, all these different things. But let's go back. We're gonna come over here to our new beta. Now, these are general technical interview questions. We're gonna come in here and it looks a little bit different but has you know, some similarity to the coding questions. But now these questions are gonna be completely different. None of these are something that you actually have to code out and solve. These are more general questions that they might ask during an interview. These are more general questions that they might ask during an interview. A lot of the easy ones, and if we go to the difficulty, we'll come right here. Um, you know, They'll just ask you, basic questions about your greatest weakness, how you actually get insights, uh, what is a store procedure and how do you use it? These are things that they just might ask you that are pretty straightforward, fairly easy. Then we have questions that are gonna be a little bit more difficult. So let's go over here to the hard questions. These are gonna be things like automation. Let's come in here, just see what this question is. Uh, this might be a question that you get in an interview. It's gonna say, what challenges have you faced when automating reports or dashboards and how did you overcome them? This is something that I have been asked in an actual interview. So all of these questions are based off of real interview scenarios. That's kind of why I'm so excited about this portion of the website because it's kind of the other half of those interviews. You're gonna get asked to do a technical interview where you know they'll ask you to write something in SQL and you need to know how to do that, absolutely. But walking through your process, understanding how to answer these questions can be just as important. And so that's why I'm really excited about this part of the platform. Now, I just clicked on this one randomly. Uh, we could do any of these and there's a lot of them. Now, one thing I will note before I answer this question, because we're just gonna kind of sample and answer this question and see what it does and see what it looks like. But as of right now, this is in beta. This is only for people who have an active subscription or have a lifetime membership. We will be rolling out free questions to everybody. And so there will be free questions on here. But during the beta, we want paid users to give us feedback, let us know what improvements they want, what things, maybe bugs are in here and then we'll roll out some free questions in the near future, probably in the next week or two. But because we're here, let's answer this question and then we'll do one more question. I'm just gonna, again, pick a completely random one. We're gonna answer it and see how this works. Now, one thing to note is we do have this option right here to actually use a microphone and I highly recommend that. It'll just do voice to text and it kind of gets you in the habit of actually speaking it out loud and that is recommended. In the future, we're gonna enhance this a lot to where kind of speaking is the preferred way to do it so you can actually practice. And I'll talk a little bit about that at the end with the future of kind of this feature as well as other things are on the platform because we have some really big ideas and big things coming, but I'll get to that in a little bit. If we don't wanna do voice to text, we can also just type it out. So the interviewer asks, what challenges have you faced when automating reports or dashboards and how did you overcome them? I'm not gonna take all day to answer this, but I will answer the question kind of briefly and we'll just see what it does. So I'm gonna say, I have experienced these challenges before. This might take a little bit. And I'll say, and it usually comes down to data pipelines or the source data. If the data has changed, it may break the automation and we have to go back and clean it up. And this is a really simplified version, but in essence, this is the answer. Uh, I would overcome this by working with the source data to make sure it's consistent. Uh, that's just, that's, uh, I don't know if I spelled consistent right, but that's close enough. Uh, this is kind of a basic answer 
I'm gonna go ahead and submit this and we're just gonna see what happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and submit on this side. Now what it's gonna do is gonna take your answer and it's going to grade it. Now I've submitted my answer on the back end, So you can actually go in just a second, I'll show you what my answer is, which is the suggested answer, like an optional answer that I might use when I'm answering this question, but it's gonna give you feedback on this. And so we grade it on several different areas, the depth of the answer, if the grammar is right, if the coherence or what you're actually saying makes sense, the relevance to the topic and how correct it actually is. And then it's gonna give you your feedback right down here. We don't need to read the whole thing, but it's gonna say your answer highlights a common challenge. And then it does say, however, and it gives a little feedback, providing more detail on specific strategies or tools that you used would enhance your response, which I completely agree. I would go into more detail and add those things. So I got a six out of 10 for depth, which I completely agree with, but everything else was fairly accurate. And so we were able to earn those 75 points and we got that answer correct. I can come in here and look at my suggested answer. These are all answers that I wrote myself. And so you can read through those. You can also, if we go back, you can share this answer with the community. So I just shared this in the community. And if I come over here, here is my shared answer. Um, maybe I shouldn't share that because it's not the best answer in the world, but you can now vote on this. You can see how other people will respond and you can see what they were graded on because maybe they got a really good score. And that was a really great answer to that question. Let's choose just one more. Let's come back over here. Let's go to moderate. I don't wanna go to the very hard. Those ones are quite difficult. Um, but let's come over here. And let's say we have this bad coworker scenario. So now these are the types of questions where they give us a scenario and they want us to solve it. They want us to give a good answer in the interview. I've had so many questions like this. And when I was a manager, I used to ask questions like this because it really gets you kind of into their head. It kind of tells you a little bit about what kind of employee they are. These are just great kind of questions to ask. So this question says, you're working on a time sensitive analytics project with a teammate who's consistently missing deadlines, submitting sloppy work and not responding to feedback. It's starting to impact the project's quality and your own reputation. How would you handle this situation? Um, I'm gonna answer this really quickly, but I'll leave a link in the description if you wanna try this one out. If of course you have an active subscription, we're gonna have free questions on here later, I promise. But you know, this is just for an example. Uh, I would go to them directly and talk about how their work is negatively impacting the project. If this didn't work and it continued, I would talk to my boss and try to get someone else on the project. I don't know if that's exactly how I would respond, but uh, try to keep it really short. Let's go ahead and submit this and see what we get. I don't think it's gonna be the best grade in the world. Yeah, correctness was only seven out of 10. Depth, again, six out of 10, not the best. But again, I think this feedback is pretty good. I think approaching the teammate and then going to the boss is good, but I should add a little bit more example and focus on different solutions that would help. I think I could have answered this a lot better, but again, I'm just trying to keep it really simple for the video. But this is a tool for you to get ready for these interviews. Again, I highly recommend uh, using this voice to text. We're gonna enhance this in the future, but use the voice, talk out loud and see how you would actually respond. I think that will really help you in your interviews. And genuinely just walking through these scenarios and really having to think about them gets you in that space of answering these questions because you are going to get these questions in interviews. And so they're really good to practice with. And again, we have a lot these are just our starter questions. I have a lot more already you know, ready, but these are the ones that we are starting with. And let me just get rid of this filter. Uh, but we have 15, 23, 18, I don't know, that's like 50 questions or so that we're just starting out with in the beta, but we'll have over 100 questions in the near future and a ton of free ones as well. With the general technical questions specifically, we're gonna be building on that to where you can have a conversation with it. So it's not just a one question, you answer it and you're done. We're gonna be having a full conversation where you'll say something, they'll ask follow-up questions and you'll keep going. And so that'll kind of get you in the real mindset of an interview. But we may even build off this even more and create mock interviews. And that's not just the general, but that's the general and the technical in kind of one mock interview. Because when you go in for an interview, you're gonna get both. 
And so we want to do that. And then we'll grade you on how you do throughout that entire interview. And so that is something we're really excited about. We'll probably start working on that quite soon. And then we'll start rolling that out as we get those new features and as we get those new things built out. Apart from that, we have some other really big ideas, but I don't want to spoil it because some of these are really big that no other platform has. So I don't really want to share it just yet. But when it becomes closer to actually being built out and ready to launch, I promise you, I will let you know what it is. And I'm super excited because we just have some massive things planned that are really going to be completely different than any other platform. If you want to check it out and you want to try it out right now, I will have a link in the description to give you 35% off any purchase on Analyst Builder, including subscriptions and lifetime memberships.